Hello and welcome to my Monday. 5.30 a.m. I'm at the warehouse. I'm actually getting ready to uh, pack an order and load the van because I have a delivery all the way out in Mesa, which is not normally where we're at on Mondays. We, we do west uh, west side on Mondays, uh, heavy, heavy, busy day. Um, but we have a, a one-off customer that calls us whenever there's an event going on. It's a good size order um, and I'm gonna deliver it so I don't take any take away from the day. I just gotta pack and get out of here and try to beat traffic on the way back because I'm gonna hit traffic coming back to the warehouse. All right, we got 16 cases for this. So here we go. Always push your pallet through the through the door. Don't pull it. That way, if anything starts to fall, you have a, you have an opportunity to try and catch it. Versus if you're pulling it, it's just gonna fall and you're gonna be having to pick things up. Oh, all the tomatoes are cleared out. So my buddy Chuck sent me a, a, an Instagram ad that he saw for this MagSafe like accessory that goes on the back of your phone that has like multiple uses, like a, like, like a, uh, like a pop socket, but also it has the ability to pop out to be used as like a, um, basically like a, like a kickstand. And, uh, and then because it's MagSafe, you can buy all these MagSafe accessories as well. And I'm just like, I can't wait to get it now because I'm like, like today is a perfect example. I need to prop my phone up so I can like try to get some B-roll. And it's like, you know, Without me pulling my wallet out and setting up my little tripod thing, it's like I need this amp. I'm, so I'm, I'm hoping it works out the way I think it's gonna work out, where it's literally I have a tripod on my phone at all times. So it should be here uh, tomorrow, I think. So I'm really stoked to get it. Actually, I forgot that I set up my pocket tripod with my, for my case. It literally took me like 10 seconds to set that up, and it's in my pocket. It's my wallet. But but if the one on the back of the phone works this fast, this easy, like I literally can just like pop and set it down, and it works this good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Elevate, we're gonna elevate the vlogs, baby. Okay, so that was a lot easier than I thought. Uh, no traffic going to Mesa, and coming back, I'm just now hitting traffic, like just now, like I, literally as I just pulled the camera out. Um, the person I was delivering to met me at the door and helped me get in right away, so there was no like waiting or trying to figure anything out. So yeah, this delivery is actually a lot easier than I thought. I was gonna, I thought it was gonna be very like time consuming, difficult, and frankly more for me to show you guys, but I'm already almost back to the warehouse, so yay, I guess, yay. Good way to start my Monday. I'm on the road, I'm heading to a I don't know, I guess consider him a former customer. It was a new account we picked up. We did a couple of deliveries. It didn't quite work out. Great guy, love the guy. In fact, I he even told me, he's like, we're not gonna, even though we're not gonna be working together, please, please come visit me, come talk to me. I really enjoy you as a person and you know, maybe one day we can work back together, you know, whatever. Um, but I'm gonna go visit him for, for, for some things. Um, and then I'm gonna go pick up some chorizo from our local uh, meat company here that we get our chorizo from. It's made here in Arizona. So I was gonna have our driver pick it up on his way back from his delivery since he's delivering not in this area, but it's COD, so we gotta pay for it when we pick it up. And I was gonna see, oh, well, can I drop off a check tomorrow? And it's one of those things where I don't wanna start that, so I'm just gonna go pick it up. Kill two birds with one stone, so I was gonna come visit uh, this, this customer anyway. So we're driving up to Peoria. It's taco time. Got some consomme, salsa, carnitas, frijoles, my beans. beans. Oh, this is what you want though, right here. This is what you want. She's back. I'm back. I'm, I felt bad. I thought you were gonna ask me to take clips. It's meant to you. You could have. I just did my own thing and it was. Awesome. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. That's all that matters. <laughs> Well, Tiffany's back home. You guys were asking where she went. She went to Laughlin, Nevada with one of her girlfriends. Uh, they left Friday and came back today on Monday. And the reason why I wasn't telling you guys where she was at because she was still there. And with the daily vlogs, what I say today goes up tomorrow and she was still there. So for privacy purposes, I just wasn't 
like saying where she was at and where she was doing what she was doing uh, because I wasn't with her. You know, if I was with her, it'd be like more like, hey, we're here at Laughlin, but she was by herself. So anyway, she's back now. And we were just playing catch up, kind of talking about the weekend. Uh, she's sent photos and whatnot, but now we're actually hearing the details. And so Bryce just got home from uh, basketball practice. He's ca catching up with her right now. Sierra came home from work, catching up with her now. And so I'm kind of letting them do their debrief while I put in some orders for work. And I might log in and play a little bit of Call of Duty, um, but then I'm gonna go back out there and hang out with her. So now you're all caught up. Got the whole family out here on the back porch. Mom brings everybody together, look at that. Little kids off work and school. Bryce just went and got some food for himself because he's rolling in the dough. No, she paid for it. No, mom paid for it. Oh, mom paid for it. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah, okay. Well, whatever. He's still rolling the dough. Sierra's planning her next tattoo. All I'll say is it involves the whole family. When are you getting it? This Friday. This Friday. For like four days. Yeah. All right, that's the end of my Monday. Just gonna sit in bed with my iPad, watch some videos. I'm, I'm actually finding some more vloggers. Um, I actually just found a guy who's like 41 talking about how he just started vlogging at 40. So I'm kind of interested in uh, his vlogs and I'm gonna check him out. And uh, gonna call it a night. See you guys tomorrow.